Hello, my fellow sniffers, flighters, and hatchlings. My name is Marlene McCohen, owner of Paroxation.com, and this right here is Bella, a beautiful hyacinth macaw who is just going to help me out with this video today. Apparently, Bella's looking for my ear. Did you find it? In today's guide, we're going to go over five steps in quarantining your bird. Does that make sense in English? In today's guide, <laughs> the Quiet on set! Quiet on set! Five <laughs> quarantine <laughs> steps. In today's video, we're going to go over five steps for quarantining your bird. The first and most important thing is that you want to have a cage for the bird that's gonna be in quarantine. And it's not, <gasps> what? She went on you, in your hair. No. She did? I must be a very, very lucky person. Will it need a light shampoo or a really deep cleaning? Sometimes you need a little finesse. Sometimes you need a lot. Finesse shampoo is specially formulated to clean deeply on the days you need it, gently on the days you don't, without drying, without overcleaning. Cause sometimes you need a little thinness, sometimes you need a lot. This guide includes five steps to quarantining your birds. First, let's go over what is quarantine. When you bring home a new bird, you may not know and the bird may not be tested yet for certain diseases that are contagious to your other birds. So what you wanna do for about 30 days is separate your new bird, whether it is a baby bird or whether it is a rescue from all of your other birds. So the first thing you're going to do is set up a quarantine cage for your bird. Now, this is a small quarantine cage here. It is obviously not for this hyacinth macaw. The cage that you wanna set up has to be comfortable for your bird. It should have everything that your bird would normally have in a cage, but it doesn't have to be a really big, huge setup because it's temporary. You can also use the cage that your bird will be in and keep that cage in a separate room from your other bird. Step number two. Where do you want to keep this separate cage for your bird? I personally, I personally like to keep the cage in my bedroom. It gives me a lot of time to hang out with my bird and bond with my bird. You may also want to keep the cage in an office or somewhere where you hang out regularly during the day. Where you don't want to keep the cages next to other birds, where when the bird gets out, they can integrate with the rest of the birds or another bird that you have. So for example, if the cage is in my room and the bird can hang out safely without touching or transferring anything to any bird, because you don't want the bird to be in a situation where he can't come out for fear that he might play with shared tree stands or perches or go on to the other bird's cages. Step number three, right away, as soon as you bring your bird home, if not before, you want to get your bird tested for any transferable diseases. This is really important if you have other birds and also to get to know what might lie ahead for you and your bird. So some birds, if they have beak and feather disease, you want to know that now. Not only is it transferable, but it's something that you want to know about the future of your bird. And if you did get a baby, you want to make sure you talk to the breeder that it came from. If you have a rescue and the rescue is already 21 years old, there's a lot of things to know about the bird already. The bird may already have been tested. You may have the vet records, which you should ask for. Try to get all the paperwork of your birds. Now, if you do get your bird tested for everything, you actually could probably release your bird from quarantine a bit earlier. But if you feel more comfortable, just go ahead and stick to those 30 days. Number four, hand washing. This is something so easily forgotten about when the birds live in your own house you've gotten used to it so of course you know that you're keeping your birds separate in a quarantine but how often would you hold your new bird and then go off and not think about holding your current birds 
It's very important to always be aware of that. So hand washing in between touching all of your birds is gonna be essential during this time period. Same with when you touch cages or anything like that. I would also, if I were you, wash the bowls separately and not at the same time. Don't transfer food, don't transfer water. That's also something very important to note. A bird that's quarantined, just get them their own stuff and clean it separately. Tip number five, you may be wanting to pair two birds after quarantine. What you can do after a certain period, especially after your bird is tested or you've investigated your bird for certain things, then you can put the two cages next to each other and just let them get used to each other and their vocals and get to know each other that way. In fact, after quarantine and before you introduce the two birds and put them in the same cage, it's not a bad idea to have the two cages next to each other just so that they can build up that want to be with one another. Number six, the most important thing about the entire quarantine is to keep your eye out for a sick bird or an unwell bird or something that may be different about this bird. If you check out the next video in my guide, I will go over five tips to look for while your bird is in quarantine and how to tell if your bird may be sick. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video, comment your favorite part, and subscribe. If I forgot anything, please add it below for the people that are watching and might want to gain some more quick information because that is so important. I can't always remember everything, but you guys can definitely help me and be a part of this. So thank you guys so much. Bye.